So the default is that we've got PayPal, and if you wanted to do different payment uh, gateways, we have that over here under WooCommerce Settings, and then under Payments at the top. And so the method I've got currently active is PayPal, and I've got these other ones, Direct Payments, Square, and such. Um, so I can turn on these different ones. Now, if I wanted something else like authorize.net or some other ones, that's going to be under extensions. Under extensions, and then at the top here, payments. And then here's where then it shows here's how you can pay through Amazon. Or through authorize.net or Klarna or first data. So Amazon Pay, this particular one seems to be a free add-on. However, it says requirements, SSL required. So this is when you have your website live on the internet, and it has HTTPS on your address, not just the plain old HTTP. That's a little bit out of our scope, but I might touch on it slightly when I go over to look at GoDaddy. Um, You can buy different versions of an SSL. You, you, the most common is that you buy an SSL that only applies to one website. And that's the basic price, let's say $79. Then for like, you know, $125, you get the version then that applies to all your subdomains. So it'll be with your provider to pick the right one, but usually one SSL is attached to one website. Uh, it would kind of defeat the purpose of it all, like let's say in the real world, I have to use my driver's license to identify myself. It doesn't make sense to use my driver's license for me and my friend and my brother. We've all got our own driver's license. So everyone's got their own SSL, unless you pay for the extra one and other stuff on the server is set up so that it applies to the, the whole domain. All right, other WooCommerce uh, general questions?